Um, the next question uh, is regarding prayer. If you guys could keep the the question topics according, about prayer, that would be very helpful because we have so many questions. Um, the question says, how do you put all your concentration into your prayers? Well, you do the best you can. <laughs> uh, you know, when I'm praying, and I think you probably found this useful as well, when you pray, it's very difficult, I mean, to have total concentration during your prayer. But I think it's good that while you're performing your prayer, to interrupt yourself at times and think about, genuinely think about, something that you're grateful to Allah for. Think about a deep concern you have for someone close to you, and you communicate that to Allah during your prayer. Think about something that you feel you may not have done quite right, a doubt you have about yourself. And ask God to forgive you for that and to help you with that. Most importantly, try to adopt an attitude of humility during your prayer. I think, this is just my personal advice, the more I find the more humble, sincerely humble, you are in your prayer. The more, when you turn to prayer, you acknowledge and admit to Allah your dependence upon Him. The more you turn your heart totally over to Him and concentrate on that, the more you try to envision His greatness compared to your smallness, His kindness compared to your humanity, the more you concentrate on His beautiful attributes, most powerful names, I find the more beautiful is the experience of your prayer. So as you recite the Qur'an, interrupt yourself at stages. Just don't recite your prayer as a formula. Stop yourself at moments. And whenever you feel so during your prayer, stop yourself at a verse and communicate to Allah your deepest feelings about Him. And be thankful for what He has given you. And ask for His help, sincerely, from the depths of your heart. And tell Him, although He already knows how much you need Him and you want to grow near to Him. Because when you do that, you are opening your heart to His light. And like I said, those most beautiful moments almost never come as in, when anticipated. Sometimes they come and you're not even trying. When you're not, you're just standing there in your prayer and you're reciting al fatah and all of a sudden you'll feel this beauty take, take over you. But still, I think it's the attitude with which you approach that prayer. If you approach it just as a burden that you want to get out of the way, then it's a, probably going to be a burden that you just get out of the way. And you will receive a reward for it because it will develop your steadfastness, persistence, etc. But if you approach it as a humble servant of God Almighty, as one who depends on Him totally, and has total trust in Him, I think it will enhance the beauty of your prayer all the more, and God knows best. But I will say this, to all of us, we need to remember this, and we have to remind ourselves of this. Don't miss the prayers. Don't skip the prayers. Skip the prayers, you're taking a step backwards. And then you have a difficult time getting back to where you were before. Pray day in, day out, as prescribed, and you will slowly but surely notice a progress in your spirituality. You will notice that the beauty of the prayers increases with that performance in prayer. You will notice that if you compare your experience of prayer to the way it was three years ago, there is something greater about it now than it was then, provided that you're also trying to live the life of a Muslim, sincerely trying to be humble and compassionate to others, to be truthful, to be, to be fair to your neighbor, to be just, to be honest, etc., etc. But most of all, with all that, don't miss a prayer. Because you take a huge step backwards. And you've got to start again. I'm not saying you go back to step one. I, frankly, I don't know. But you do go back. And you've got to bring yourself forward again. At least as I, am, as I perceive it. Thank you.